hi guys um welcome to my new video um my first episode of my aviation series um i'm excited i don't know if you can tell but i'm very excited i need to calm down but this is the first episode um you guys have been saying you won my aviation series i'm just going to be unpacking um few questions that you guys always have for me i'm going to unpack them one by one and try to like go in depth with them because sometimes i do give out like specific answers for example if um it's a yes or no answer i'd be like yes no but i wanted to go deep into the question so i figured it might help you um there's a few questions that i had before i started my training and i did not find them on youtube especially for south african aviation um so i figured <laughs> Let me start that series so you guys can get more information and yeah you guys really wanted it so and i wanted to give it to you guys and that's why we're here today okay um this series is going to be based on my experience and my um school if i can say it like that because that's all i can tell you guys i do not go attend other schools so the only experience that i do have is from the specific school that i go to so yeah let's get into it I'd like to put out a disclaimer all the information that I'm going to be giving you guys is based on my experience and I'm not saying it is what's the word it goes throughout aviation in South Africa or every other student that's good it's going to be based on my personal experience not only on today's video but for the rest of the series okay the first question that we are gonna unpack on this episode is do you need physics mathematics or geography to be a pilot and the answer is very simple no you do not need those subjects but if you did do them that is definitely a plus but all the things you need to be a pilot you get taught in school the physics part of it the geography part of it the math mathematics part of it you all get taught in school for example, I only did um, physics and mathematics. I did not do geography. So I thought that was going to count against me. And honestly, it did not. It did not. I've already did the geography part of the, my subjects. Um, I'm going to also unpack the subjects that we do have uh, in the PPL. Oh, and honestly, all the information that I'm giving you guys is based on the private pilot license haven't done commercial yet so i'm still finishing my ppl so that's all i can actually give you and that's all the information that i do have so yeah i've done the uh geography geography part of my ppl and it was smooth like it was not a hassle as i just said you get taught everything you need at school i hope you guys did get an answer from that um second part of this video is me showing you guys the subjects that we do have in the private pilot license section that's not the right word <laughs> but the subjects that private pilot students um, study that's the word um, yeah I have s quite a few subjects and I wanted to share them with you guys because when I started I had no idea honestly I just knew that I wanted to be a pilot and which subjects that you were gonna do or modules as some people would say I had no idea so I figured let me share with you guys and yeah let's get into it okay so on my first day of school um, this is the bag that I got it's sectioned very nicely um, as you can see the back it has that um, part where you put your luggage handle so you can drag your luggage and it's also sectioned very nicely inside um, so yeah let me show you guys the subject that we do have um, the first subjects that we do have i'm just going to go according to the numbers that they are numbered here the first one is aircraft general for airplanes as some people call it as atg um it's basically showing you the bits and pieces of the airplane what functions as what if that makes sense so yeah this is the first subject and the second one is principles of flight principles of flight like i can't explain that any further but yeah this is the second subject that we do have that one is human performance and i'm yet to write the exam for this one i haven't started this one yet this is my last exam uh, but yeah 
very excited about this one as you can see it's basically going to unpack how humans respond to situations in the aviation industry or not humans pilots but yeah very excited for this one mainly because it's my last one i have no idea but excited for it um third one is meteorology which is met some people say this is the fourth one um this is the geography one that i was telling you guys about this is the weather it talks about the clouds oh i really enjoyed the subject i'm having a tbt moment but i really really enjoyed the subject memory lane this was literally last year and yeah as you can see they actually show the pictures of what expected or what's in the book so yeah as you can see this is a map and the weather part of it so yeah geography basically and the fifth subject is navigation which is the one if you've been watching my latest videos i've been working and studying for this one and yeah this is the fifth one navigation simply says it as you guys can see the picture it's the navigation part of aviation yeah like this one too actually i enjoyed most of them more if not all of them actually i enjoyed all of them it's part of studying obviously they were not all easy but it's part of the study this is number six and this is flight performance and planning basically planning your flight as you guys can see on that little picture over there yeah this was uh, this was okay too i enjoyed this one too last but not least was a law uh like anything else you have law um in the aviation industry so there's certain things that you can and cannot do for example um how many <laughs> it's why am i using this example but like how many hours uh should you not drink before you go fly um things like that like the specifics of everything and how many years is your license valid for and how many years is your medical valid for you know things bits and pieces like that you will find in this book right here yeah. yeah and this as you can see it's the south african and also um there's other books for example this one um flight training um for example if you're gonna fly these are the bits and pieces of things you're expected to know on that lesson and for example this exercise 11a which is um inc incipient spins um or let me see um exercise what exercise ac which is use of flaps to descend it's just basically telling you how to fly yes this is that book i hope i'm not going too fast but yeah another book that came with my bag was this one this is the radio um pilot radio handbook i'm yet to do this one too so yeah and we also get the knee board oh before i do the knee board um you also get this Oh, this is for my, from my school but you get a pre-flight checklist um, of the aircraft that you use for example I use the 152 which is PLS the one I use um, but it is sectioned this one has a pre-flight checklist for uh, the Cessna 150 Cessna 152 and Cessna 172 my bad so yeah this is the checklist checklist is how do the checklist things that you need to do before b doing for example if i'm going to do a spin there's certain checklists that i need to make sure they have been done uh, before i perform or execute a spin i hope that makes sense child and after that you have the knee board as the word says it's a knee board you uh, strap it on your knee when you're flying and yeah i basically use it to put on or write some notes that i might forget and yeah really helps really helps me a lot use clip your notes here and yeah 
this is your knee board and we have quite a few instruments let me get a thumbnail okay these are some of the instruments that you do get um, this is used to drain fuel from the aircraft when you're doing your pre-flights I'm um, just basically checking if your fuel is dirty and it's clean enough to fly with or if that it has any water particles if it does have water you just keep draining it until there's no more water yeah yeah this is your ruler everyone knows the ruler protractor And you get your flight computer. And yeah, those are the instruments that you did get. And last but not least, you get a map. Because, yeah, you're going to need a map when you're flying. But yeah, that is it. That is it. We've come to the end of the video. I was actually enjoying this. I was actually enjoying it and yeah i hope you guys did like it if you did give it a big thumbs up that really really helps um share it with your other future pilots that are interested in this video and yeah do subscribe if you haven't i will see you on my next episode episode two yeah